But let's take a closer look at one of Muhammad Ali's most inspiring moments, the 1996 Olympics, when he, he was revealed as the athlete who would light the Olympic cauldron in Atlanta. Our chief correspondent, Peter Mansbridge, was there, and he joins us now. And so, Peter, what was it like that night in Atlanta? Well, you caught the, the word inspiring. It, it was incredibly inspiring. First of all, as you know, and as most people know, the, the who will actually light the cauldron in the Olympics is always kept a secret, and there's guessing games going on. Sometimes you're right. Most of the time you're wrong. So the guessing was on in Atlanta. Who is it going to be? Uh, and then suddenly, out uh, in the uh, kind of in the skies above Atlanta Stadium on the top rung of it, out comes this figure. And I was standing there with Brian Williams. We were doing the broadcast and we were trying to say, is it, you know, is it really who we think it is? And it was. It was, it was the icon of icons. If icons look up to somebody, they look up to Muhammad Ali. And there he was. And for the first time, um, those who were watching, as he, you know, took that torch to light the cauldron, um, realized just what kind of condition he was in. That the, you know, the years had taken their toll, both from boxing and from Parkinson's. And they, people, the, you know, was a hush fell over the place. Is he actually going to be able to do it? Can he hold on to that torch? And people willed him to be able to do it. It was incredibly emotional because there he was. It wasn't just he was in Atlanta. He was on the world stage. You know, President Obama talking today in that incredible statement. People mm -hmm. should look it up. It's mm -hmm. quite the statement. Um, you know, talked about him being such a world player. He is and he was. And in that moment, he certainly was because billions of people were watching and feeling exactly the same way as we were in that stadium. You mentioned that, that extraordinary statement by Barack Obama. I'll just read part of it here. He said, he stood with King and Mandela, stood up when it was hard, and his victory helped us get used to the America we recognize today. Oh, those are such strong words. Uh, they absolutely are, and, and they're absolutely correct. Mm -hmm. And it was interesting that he mentioned Mandela because if there's another figure who the world looked towards over these, you know, the last, you know, a couple of generations, it, it was Nelson Mandela. And I saw the picture today, and you know, we, we can show it again now, the, of the moment where the two men met. And usually when <laughs> Mandela was met by others, they could be presidents and prime ministers and royalty, you knew you were in the presence of somebody very special, and they were in awe of Mandela. Well, you look at that picture, who's in awe of whom? Here, right? You got two of the greats mm -hmm. standing together. Mandela was a boxer, you know, as he grew up. I mean, he, he loved boxing, so he knew very well who this was he, he was standing with. But he is ex excited in that moment as Muhammad Ali is to meet him. And, you know, yeah, I always ask this question. I know you ask this question, the legacy. I mean, can you even mm. find the words, right? Well, we've been hearing all day people trying to sum that up. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, for anyone who's lived these through these last, uh, you know, 50 years especially of the 74 of his life, um, you can associate so many big events in the world with, with Muhammad Ali, mm -hmm. with Cassius Clay, whether it was sports, whether it was the, the tearing apart of a country through the 1960s in the U.S. because of Vietnam, where in many ways he kind of led that revolution, um, uh, to questions uh, you know, about health care in, in these last you know, 20 years. Um, so legendary, iconic, all of those things fit. Most of all, here's a man of incredible conviction about what he believed in. Uh, didn't need to be sort of, uh, you know, pushed into a, a, a particular feeling. He had it, mm -hmm. and he would stand up against anyone. He did everything from sports to politics. To you could even say, and some people argue, he started rap. I mean, you <laughs> listen to those quotes it's as true. you've been playing yeah. all day today, uh, and there's a rap sound to some of those. Yeah. You know, maybe that's where all that started too. Peter, thank you. All right, Andrew.